And as a prompt measure to mitigate the efforts of the invincible enemy, COVID-19, the development of vaccines is seemingly crucial. To this end, the World Health Organization held on Thursday press briefing on the development of COVID-19 vaccines in Africa. Plus TV correspondent Isheme attended the briefing virtually to monitor. The urgent need for the COVID-19 vaccines cannot be overemphasized. The pandemic has reached an all-time high as Africa now records about 500,000 cases of the virus. The World Health Organization highlights basic challenges confronting the management of the disease. Initially, there were a couple of challenges, and these challenges are spread. <clears throat> they are political, uh, they are social challenges, they are legal challenges, they are ethical barriers, regulatory barriers, uh, media uh, issues in the communities. So there are a number of issues that we, we, we did face. But what I learned is that as long as you communicate well, you inform the public, you inform the communities, you address the issues, work together, uh, you, uh, you are likely to overcome some of these uh, challenges. The Regional Director of World Health Organization, Dr. Matt Shidiso Moretti, explains the role of Africa in the role of the development of vaccines globally. We have several countries that are actually, that have institutions that are producing vaccines. Some are uh, public, uh, parastatal, and others are in the private sector in partnership with governments. For example, in Senegal, the Institute Pasteur has uh, vaccine production capacity, have been producing yellow fever vaccine for many years and is an important partner in WHO and then for to WHO. And there are several other um, North African countries that have vaccine uh, production capacity in Tunisia, Morocco, Algeria. I was on an, an official visit to Algeria a year or so ago and I visited one such institute. South Africa, of course, has such capacity. Egypt has uh, some capacity to, produce, to manufacture vaccines. A longer term measure aside the development of vaccines is to also ensure a slower rate of transmission of the disease focus can't be around vaccines. In the meantime, the focus need remains trying to slow the rate of transmission of this virus by adherence to those non-pharmaceutical interventions, the wearing of face masks, the physical distancing, the avoiding of overcrowded spaces. That is the current and immediate term uh, focus. It's not about vaccines. The vaccine development needs to take place, but we need to manage what is upon us right now. Reporting for PLOS TV Africa, Isemel Omohai.